Kia ora everyone, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to a brand new feature of Kapow called the KREPL. KREPL is an integrated development environment that gives you really great control over exploring and um, interrogating Apache Kafka. So the most important thing to know is that there is a user guide here filled with examples that are um, executable, that give you some insight into how the KREPL works and Clang, the language that runs in the KREPL, which is a mixture, is a fusion of Clojure and JQ. The most important thing to know is that you can use the KREPL with just JQ. You don't have to use Clojure if you don't want to. I'm using shortcut keys uh, to execute commands in the KREPL. All the key bindings are right here. So the most important um, function that I think most of you will be interested in is uh, consumption, which is really just an overlay over our current data inspect capabilities. But rather than clicking UI elements, you can execute commands in the KREPL instead. So absolutely everything that you can do in data inspect, you can do better in the KREPL. So that was me just consuming from two different topics at the same time. And in fact, if I wanted to, I can consume from a regex matching um, query instead. And as I said, you can just use JQ to uh, interrogate the data that you've consumed at any point. So in this case, I'm using star one, asterisk one is always the most recently evaluated output or most recently evaluated expression in the KREPL. It's available as asterisk one, then two, then three, four, correspondingly for older evaluations. So I can select the topic off of each item of data. And if I wanted to, I can use a closure-ish function to find out that I have in my regex consumption, I've pulled exactly 50 record, records from TX Audit and 50 records from TX Trade. Now in this example today, we're going to perform a reconciliation of these two topics at a point in time to determine whether the data on each topic is equivalent. So the first thing I'll do is clear my REPL again. I'm going to consume some records from TX Audit, and I'm going to say that the surdays are JSON. Now, if I don't provide any more context to the KREPL in this case, it will just go and find the most recent 100 records, which is the same default behavior as data inspect today. But I don't want the most recent 100 records. I actually want a window and all of this is documented in our user guide. I want a window from a point in time. So this is an ISO 8601 uh, date time and plus or minus an ISO 8601 duration, one minute. So the important thing to know is in Clang, there are some literals, some primitive um, forms that relate to um, date times and durations because Clang in the KREPL is all about navigating the time series with ease. And in this case, I have pulled back 100 records executing this query. Now I could filter this as I currently do in data inspect. I could stick a, something on here, which is almost equivalent to the KJQ that we support in data inspect, although the filter capabilities here are greatly expanded. So within Clang, we support an enormous amount of JQ constrained and an enormous amount of closure constrained and it's all described within our user guide. But what you can see with this consumption that I had previously done, I realized 100 records in 56 milliseconds. I have an option to continue because consumption in the KREPL is lazy. And by default, KREPL will pull 100 records at a time. And I'm told here this, this query has not been fully realized so I can continue consuming that query and it'll pull another 100 records at a time. And you can see the progress bar up here is continuing uh, until eventually I'm going to exhaust the bounds of that windowed query. And I can see I've got 496 records and they are all actually here available for me to play with in the REPL now. Uh, now, if I wanted to, I can just change the limit on that consumption. Let's change it to 500 and I'm going to pull all 500 records back in one query, close down this older state. So now I've pulled all of the records that are within TX audit 
into the REPL. And I'm going to define a new variable. I'm going to call that audits star one. So now I have a variable that I can refer to as audits in later expressions. And I'm going to just do the same for TX trade. I'm going to pull in the same bounded time window. Let's see how many records are on TX trade. Well, luckily enough, there's the same number of records, which is good because I think that they should be equivalent to one another. So I'm going to define trades as my current asterisk one. So now I'm going to get rid of this older state. I've got two items here in my REPL history, trades and audits. And you can see actually the structure of the data that's on the topic. They're slightly different, but they should be equivalent. So what we're going to do, we'll start with this one, trades. We're going to reference trades. We're going to do an array. We're going to map over this using JQ. We're going to pipe the identity function into actually some creation of new data. In fact, we'll create an array in this case. And I want to take from each item in my trades, I want to take the key.id and I want to take the value transaction price and I want to take the value transaction method network because this is the base data that should be the same on both topics. And I can see in this case, um, I have mapped over that using just simple JQ. I've got a new sequence of data from my um, trades and I'm just going to define a new variable called trades X because I'm not very good at naming things with that most recent data. Get rid of this um, intermediary. And I think I'll do the same for audit. So I'm going to normalize effectively these two topics, but my audits data is slightly different. So I've got the key, do I have a key ID? My value, I don't have a value TX, I've got a value trade. And that has the price. It's actually the value partner network. So you can see this is an extremely normal thing to want to do with Apache Kafka. You want to normalize two topics within a fixed bounded window. And that's what Clang in the K REPL is. It's a language and an environment for performing functional, composing functional exploration over bounded data sets as opposed to Kafka streams, which is unbounded streams. So we're dealing with bounded sequences of data here and we're using JQ and Clojure intermingled, interpolated as described in the guide to achieve that goal. So now I'm going to define this as an audit. Audit's X. So I've got now fairly quickly two sequences of things which should be the same. And I can just find the set difference, which is a closure function of audit X. Trades X. And what have I done there? Oh, audits X. Spot it wrong. And there we go. I can see actually there are four entries out of 496 in trades X that don't appear in audit X. And actually, if we wanted to see the other way around, we would just that. And that's the ones that exist in the opposite way, audit X, but not in trade X. And actually, I could, if I wanted to get a little bit more closure, I could construct a, um, a um, an array a vector effectively, and I could switch these two around like that. So now I've got two entries with the opposing sides of each, and then I could reduce into one sequence which has all of them. I can sort by my first. You can see I'm moving quite quickly now, and I can partition by. I'm exploring my data right now. So now I have a sequence of pairs of tuples, each one with the corresponding information from each topic where they differ. And I can see what's happened is that partner network or the transaction method network, somehow it's occurring in some cases 
to be different for the same transaction across two topics. This is exactly the sort of stuff that allows us to crush problems with our streaming compute and move on to the more important business of delivering value for our companies. So uh, we really, really hope you enjoy this new functionality. We're really only starting with this. There's um, a million ways we're going to take it. It's extremely powerful. We'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks very much. Yeah, 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 yeah